the W205C class okay so this is just a video about just talking about the car and yep this is the face lifted version of the C class so codename W205 of course the new generation C class has arrived with the codename of W206 uh, I have also did a video on that um, take your time and watch the video as well so this would be the C200 Avant Garde 2020 model um, so of course the AMG line is was debuted in the September 2020 uh, this was before that okay but initially this is also a 2020 model yep. so this car here is an avant-garde line form okay let me bring you to the side look of this car how this thing does this thing look okay so now the front end of this car okay uh, I don't want to show so much because of the number plate and here we have the front end of this car okay first of all what does this car spot difference than its uh, siblings which is the C300 C43 and also the C63 uh, which is the headlights this is LED high performance okay uh, this is not multi beam okay so this is one level lower than the multi beam but still I love this DRS and the the LED stuff you know it really looks good and you have this Mercedes badge here okay attention to detail and this front uh, bumper okay I have honestly um, tell to you this front bumper looks simple and sporty okay but it don't come with any sharp fins or whatever like the AMG line okay look at the mesh patterns okay I show you inside look at the mesh patterns so these are all intercoolers but this part are blocked surprisingly okay you have seven parking sensors in the front of this car as standard and look at this paint job man I have to tell about this paint job this paint job is really good looking especially this cabin side blue color if you are buying a Merce buy this color buy this color I love it attracts me okay so yep so coming to the f and talking about the engine okay this car rides on the 1.5 liter turbocharged EQ boost connectivity with 9G tonic transmission Mercedes's own transmission so this car pad um, this car produces 184 horsepower, 280 Nm so far for a 1.5 turbo that's immense. Okay. So the EQ boost actually right if it also it also purpose like an alternator so it'll connect to your engine, give more efficiency to the fuel consumption and the fuel consumption in this car is mind blowing guys, mind blowing. Okay. So saving, you know, 1.5 my V Rotex. So whatever you want you can get in this car all modes comfort sport eco pro sport plus all is available in this car so 184 horsepower for this thing nice 184 horsepower okay so now i will bring you a tour to the interior okay look at that cameras there okay cameras let's go it will be the twin lures grill so this is a mercedes batch here so when you look at the mercedes batch with this internals here it is black internals that means it has radar cruise control auto braking and what then more okay so this car is also presented with all kind of advanced safety system okay and here we have a mercedes benz badge here so i really love this touch because you have two badge this badge supposes a branding purpose this one is for radar mounting purpose okay so you must understand that and look at this subtle lines love it love it love it okay so this is the parking sensors and look at the headlamps again i show you two tier design okay so this is different than the previous fitted version and yep coming to the side of this car okay first of all look at these bulges in the camera right this thing really looks good and in real life too so it just blends into the car look and especially this paint paint job so clean okay, this part is they created the lines over here and then they create a bulge so that it looks them sporty look at the rims 18 inches so the front is smaller than the rear wire the rear tires 225 45 r18 so this is 18 inches rim and look at it 
from camera, right? If I bring you close, look at how many spokes is it? It uses 14 spokes. So a lot. Uh, brake calipers. Okay, normal Mercedes brake calipers, but they are so good. The braking capacity of this car is really good. Okay. So this one uses Bridgestone Turanza tires. Run flat, of course. Uh, premium cars should have it. And then, okay. The cool feature of this car is, of course, the roofline. Okay. Why I'm telling this is actually, look at the roofline. How clean and how sloppy is this? It's truly amazing to look at. And yep, you have the railings here. So if you look at Volkswagen or Audi, right, these railings are not present. Seamless welding. Okay. And yep, the lines, look at the lines. It just flows all the way to the car. Truly nice, truly amazing. Okay, look at the side skirt. These are in chrome. Okay, so in AMG line, you don't get this chrome skirts. Okay, these rims are different than the AMG line. Okay, and even this window trimming is in chrome. Okay, uh, if you bought the blue color, you will see the chrome effects. But if you bought silver or white, like, you cannot differentiate it. So, if you're buying this car, get a, a cabin side blue, proper, proper. And here we have the door handles. Okay, so if you see Mercedes's door handles, right, they are, if they have chrome on top of the door handles, that means it uses keyless entry. This is finger track keyless entry. Very intricate. Okay, all four doors come with this. And that's it. So again, the rear tires is 245-45 R18. So you cannot interchange the tires if you're buying a new set of tires. One set for the front, one set for the rear. Okay. And again, from this angle. Wow, looks really good, right? Looks really good. This paint show off the body structure of this car. Okay. Obviously, this car looks like as class when you see from the far away, but look at the wheelbase. Look at the wheelbase of this car. Long, long. Okay, and this car suspension uses agility suspension. Okay, so it's not as rigid as the AMG line suspension. The AMG line suspension is harder, lower too. Okay, this car is 10 millimeters more than the C200 AMG line. Okay, that's the immediate difference. Uh, if you notice one thing, spoiler, this is not standard in this car. Okay, so look at the rear windscreen. So dark. Uh, the headlamps, okay, I have to comment this, the headlamps looks amazing, okay. I don't like the new bootleg connected headlamps any uh, tail lamps anymore because this really looks good. I don't know why Mercedes can't stick to this design. C illumination here, okay, nice. Mercedes badge again, you have a signal light and then the reverse light is all here. C200 badging, Mercedes logo and that's it. These are truly different than the normal one, the normal one is chrome. This one has been changed. Okay. Yeah, we are in the interior. Okay, first of all, look at the door cuts. Okay, so the door cut is using this wood trim and this high quality plastics. This is soft touch PU plastic with this tweeter here. So, speakers, this is not for a master sound system but still sounds really good. Look at this wood trim, the veneer, right? So straight. But it's not it's not fake, it's original. Okay. If you if you notice the lines, it's not straight, so that means it's original. Here we have the seating uh, controls. So easy. Settings for memory, even in the passenger you have it. Okay, for memory settings. Door or not buttons, mirror controls, it's all here. Tailgate switch. It's slim. Look at the design. Yep. So buttons all is located over here. Cup holders, not as big, but this part is carpeted. Okay, look at Mercedes-Benz door seals. Edited me. So nice, so nice. Okay, Mercedes-Benz door seals. So let's enter to this car. Egress and egress. So nice. Okay, so mosquitoes is coming in this beautiful place. Yep, so now we are in the interior of this car. First of all, let us put the keys here. Yep. So this is the key detector for the car. And if you notice, steering wheel. Napa leather steering wheel. So nice to hold and so thick. Look at the thickness. 
look at the thickness so nice this is all the buttons for cruise control and the stuff that you want to know there is seven airbags in this car 10.25 inches touchscreen v dot and bux but still the command interface is truly good look at this air convents click locking sound this is ahead of this competitors look at this boot trims i love this this part is gloss black however analog clock all uh, infotainment shortcut buttons is here okay icon controls traditional and modern they reserved for this car even the instrument panel is digital okay the stocks the stocks feel so good and here will be the gear changing okay mercedes's cars they have this um, gear changing thing so so easy okay look at this start stop button uh head and uh, headlamp controls all is over here okay we have a cut slot for the i think so for touch and go but supposedly that must be the safety system operation okay and the lid okay you don't have wireless charger but it's big the touchpad look at it how beautiful is this okay so slopey and the materials that you use it's soft thick okay blinds controller on off volume all the shortcut buttons and dynamic control sport plus eco comfort all mode is here okay off parking sensors auto parking is in this car auto braking all kind of safety systems that you expect okay let's open this but yep and uh, dual tone thing uh, you have two usb ports in this uh, center console one 12 volt socket here okay glove box okay okay power seats is all here the lighting controls and glasses vanity mirrors all is in this car the seats uh, article leather it feels really supportive supportive for my size if you are bigger than me then you might yeah you might lose it but the seats is very good look at the stitching the stitching all super materials exotic materials mercedes badge over there i think so you cannot see in the car oh uh, yeah i have a door handles okay read me this looks better than the 3 series honestly the 3 series is sporty this one is classy magical this is why mercedes mercedes badge is placed in this car okay you think about it and now let's uh, jump to the rear seats okay doors cause they feel cam super good okay look at the rear seats oh look at the digital instrument caster oh man okay look at the front dashboard uh here is the aircon controls okay this one this one don't come with three zone climate control uh which um, which you expect but it's okay it still offers this aircon and the thick b pillars gets more air okay uh you have a sun blinds for the rear seats so uh, yeah and this is the speakers the trim okay this door handles metal buttons and then you have a cup holders okay that's it you have a handle here okay seats rear seats comfortable you have an armrest uh lit the two cup holders don't you, you don't have usb port but that's not an issue and here will be the neck carpets for your thing okay rear lights for your stuff uh yes you can on it so that's it isofic mounts you cannot fold the seats from here you only get access to the boot space okay so of course many people ask me when you go to check out the boot space now right now the boot so lightweight so lightweight look at this copper things until here is copper thing attention to detail you don't have power boot but it's okay this car is so lightweight okay 480 liters of boot space okay this part is plastic copper tip uh you have nettings here for your stuffs you can put your nettings first aid kit all is presented in this car you have an umbrella up sink star okay. yes let's access the thing okay look at this basket you have a lot of space over here because it lacks spare wheel so it's really good if you don't have spare wheel you can save the space a lot same boot space as the g2320 i or 330i okay uh, you can fold the seats okay but i don't want to uh, if you fold the seats you can get for um 1600 of boot boot space so many people how will they full um let's fit this 480 liters can fit a length of umbrella this umbrella is so lengthy so you can push your seats from here okay that's it so closing the boot that's it simple okay final look of this car 
uh, you like it or love it but I love it is this thing looks better than the okay final look ah so nice this car is very nice okay no matter what people tell look at the sloping roof line so nice conclusion is this car still worth buying of course of course you should get it a uh, good machine for people who need this as a consider this as a mercedes benz of course it deserves the patch so that's it guys thank you please subscribe my channel thank you